Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. If you watched my last video, do it yourself rack. I built the PVC rack that I just put in the room a little while ago. I'm gonna be filling it up with all the bins that we got today. I'm gonna show you some of the bins. If you didn't check out that last video, check it out. I show exactly how I built this PVC rack from scratch. So I got my Freedom Breeder bins right here. I'm gonna go over what I got and then I'm gonna fill up the rack, move some snakes around. We're gonna do it real fast, a little music with a voiceover. So grab a coffee or whatever you feel like drinking. It's your choice and enjoy the video. All right, so let me show you the bins that I got. So these are the FB35S, equivalent to the V35 shorts, the exact same ones, those nice pre-drilled holes. So I got, I got three of these. And I got 17 FB5s, which are equivalent to the Vision V15s. These are good for hatchlings up to about a year old. And if you look over there, from my previous order, I had a stack of FB8s, I had a stack of FB5s, and three Vision V35s. So I'm gonna use those. Try and fill this rack up. I think I'm gonna have some empty spots when we're all done, but we'll see. Looking beautiful though. Look at that nice wall of rack. So somebody asked me in one of my comments, where do I put the probe for the thermostat with the heat tape? I actually put the probe right on the heat tape. Uh, it's a lot easier than trying to set it up in a bin and it just gets all crazy with the wires. So I set everything up, I use my heat gun and I figure out what temperature I gotta set the thermostat on the heat tape to get the desired temperature in the bins and it works out great. Now what I'm trying to do here is set up for the breeding season. March 1st, everybody comes out, so there's gonna be a lot of hatchlings, so I'm freeing up space. And all those guys that were in quarantine in littered bins, they're all going into the rack, so it's gonna make it a lot easier when it comes time for feeding. And if you notice, I'm moving all the V35S's that I have to the new rack. So all the larger snakes are on the right hand side of the room. So when it comes time to feed, it'll be easier to feed all the large snakes at once. And then I could feed all the hatchlings in one rack. Um, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. And I'm excited with the results. So everything is coming out real nice. I got a bunch of snakes that were in quarantine that have to go into some of these bins. But you know I can't do this without a nice cup of coffee, so I'm gonna go get a coffee, brew it up real quick, and we'll be right back. feeling better already. So let me show you some of the snakes that I already bumped up, gave them some upgrades, and then we're gonna start throwing all the snakes that are in quarantine in the new bins. So these are a couple snakes that got bumped up from the V18s to the V35S. S stands for short, so these are the same heights as the V18s, so you could keep them on the same rack. The regular V35 is just a little bit taller, but these have a lot of room so the snakes could stretch out their legs and relax. And Cactus, one of the males I upgraded. Bad lighting, but uh, he's gonna love this bin. So my pair of Blizzard corn snakes also got upgraded from the V15s to the V18s. These guys are looking nice, starting to get more white. Might name one of these ice cream or something that has to do with ice cream. And my pair of buckskin ochre tees from Craig Trumbauer got upgraded from the V15s to the V18s. 
looking really, really sharp. And this Inferno Red Factor Motley. And that's my girl, my Buckskin Okatee from South Mountain Reptiles. She got upgraded also. She is just one amazing, amazing corn snake. And also my pair of anneries from ECW Reptiles got upgraded. So this is what they're in now. And they were in here since they were hatched. It was perfect for a little hatchling, but now they're starting to put on a little bit of size. So let's introduce this guy to his new home. So now this is the other male and this bin is even smaller. And I decided to keep this guy for myself. He's deep in shed, so his color's a little bit dull right now, but he has really, really bold colors. And I think he's gonna look a, light, a lot like his mom, Pumpkin, when he gets bigger. Um, I decided to name him Ric Flair. Came up with that name on my own. And if you don't know who Ric Flair is, just type him into YouTube. You'll see some interesting stuff. So let's put him in his bin. So next, my Ultramil Okatees. So as I put these snakes in their new homes, I'm looking at the labels. Everything's starting to look a little sloppy. So I want to get a uniform label for every bin so everything looks uniform, nice and clean, professional. I'm just deciding, do I want to go old school with a nice clean index card? Maybe case it in some uh, plastic or something more modern that has a barcode on it where you can get all the information just by clicking on it um, i'm still deciding that's coming soon and that's my miami tessera mail he got upgraded and my pair of high white banded cali kings from vms herps got upgraded these guys are head albino had some amazing stuff amazing amazing stuff coming in the future from this pair and this one is the female the male is gonna be right next to her so he could say hi and check up on her and here he is head albino dalmatian style pattern both from the same bloodlines and i'm glad i have this new rack for this beautiful pair so i don't know if it's just me but i like to keep pairs of snakes next to each other it just seems more organized um, at the end of the day it doesn't really matter as long as you have everything labeled but I just like grouping them together and this is my shatter male and I'm gonna put the female shatter tessera with that nice stripe right next to him and there she is looking beautiful I really really can't wait to see this girl grow big I said that a couple of times, but I, I just think she's going to be an amazing, killer-looking adult. So now this is my Annery Scaleless Het Palmetto male. I'm working on some future projects with Scaleless stuff, like Scaleless Palmettos. And I'm, I'm, I, got, I got a couple of other things in mind trying to take things to a new level but uh, I'm definitely glad I got this guy in the rack now I can look at him more often without those lids getting in the way so this next pair that I'm gonna be putting in the rack I got this pair from Lee Abbott he calls them silver black okatees but uh, they're really just Annery Okatees with really deep dark bands and this bloodline stays this color as an adult. I've seen some adults he had. They look just like the babies. They didn't fade. So I'm, I'm really excited to grow these up and start producing some babies of my own. And now they're in the rack, nice and warm and toasty.
So we got about half of the snakes in the bin that were in quarantine and I'm gonna do the rest tomorrow so I can record another video. That'll be part two. And right now I'm hungry. I had that nice coffee kept me going but now I need some food so I'm gonna have a nice dinner, relax. I'm glad you guys are hanging out, watching me fill up these racks and we're gonna do it again tomorrow. So stay tuned and I'll catch you in the next one.